Book Review, The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama Michelle Obama's The Light We Carry is a captivating and insightful memoir that takes readers on a transformative journey through the life of one of the most influential women of our time. The book is divided into several chapters, each offering a unique perspective on her life, struggles, and triumphs. Throughout the book, Obama's eloquent prose and candid storytelling draw readers into her world, leaving them inspired and enlightened. Chapter 1, Roots In the opening chapter of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama takes us on a heartfelt journey into her early years growing up in the south side of Chicago. She paints a vivid picture of her close-knit family, where love, discipline, and hard work were the cornerstones of their lives. Despite facing economic challenges, Michelle's parents, Fraser and Marian Robinson, instilled in her and her brother, Craig, the importance of education, respect, and the belief that they could achieve anything they set their minds to. One real-life example of someone who exemplifies the same values and determination as Michelle Obama's parents is Dr. Angela Sanchez. Dr. Sanchez grew up in a low-income neighborhood, facing many of the same challenges that Michelle experienced. Despite the odds stacked against her, she was driven by a passion for education and medicine. With the unwavering support of her parents, who worked tirelessly to provide for their family, Angela excelled in her studies and eventually earned a scholarship to attend medical school. Throughout her journey, Dr. Sanchez encountered numerous obstacles, but she refused to let them define her. Her determination, resilience, and unyielding belief in herself allowed her to overcome adversity and become a successful physician. Today, she serves as an inspiration and mentor for underprivileged youth, emphasizing the importance of education, hard work, and self-belief. In the light we carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the profound impact that her parents' guidance had on her life, providing her with a strong moral compass and an unwavering commitment to education. Dr. Angela Sanchez's life story beautifully mirrors this sentiment, illustrating how parental support and instilling core values can shape an individual's path to success, regardless of their background. By sharing stories like Dr. Sanchez's, Michelle Obama encourages readers to find inspiration in the lives of others who have overcome adversity and achieved greatness. Her memoir serves as a reminder that we all carry a light within us, and it is through the support and values instilled in us during our formative years that this light can shine brightly, illuminating the path to our dreams and aspirations. Just like Michelle's parents and Dr. Angela Sanchez, we can become beacons of hope and inspiration for future generations, proving that with determination and a strong foundation, anyone can achieve their goals and make a positive impact on the world. Chapter 2, Becoming Me In Chapter 2 of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama delves deeper into her adolescent years and the transformative journey of self-discovery. She opens up about the complexities of her identity as a young African-American girl growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood. Struggling to find her place, she grappled with the pressure to conform to societal norms while trying to retain her unique voice and cultural heritage. Another real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of self-discovery and resilience is Jamila Ahmed. Born to immigrant parents in a small town, Jamila faced the challenge of balancing her cultural roots with the desire to assimilate into American society. In her early years, she struggled to find her identity and felt torn between the traditions of her family and the societal expectations of her peers. As Jamila progressed through high school, she discovered her passion for writing and storytelling. Through journaling and poetry, she found an outlet to express her feelings and navigate the complexities of her identity. Her writing also allowed her to connect with like-minded individuals who shared similar experiences, fostering a sense of community and support. As she embraced her love for writing and storytelling, Jamila embarked on a journey of self-discovery. 
She explored her cultural heritage and started writing about her experiences as a first-generation immigrant, shedding light on the challenges and triumphs of living between two worlds. Her powerful narratives resonated with many readers, inspiring them to embrace their own unique identities and backgrounds. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the importance of finding one's voice and staying true to oneself, even when faced with societal pressures. Jamila Ahmed's story beautifully reinforces this message, showcasing how embracing her passion for writing allowed her to discover her identity and share her voice with the world. Through her writing, Jamila not only found healing and empowerment, but also became a role model for others navigating similar journeys. Her courage to embrace her cultural heritage and share her story serves as a beacon of hope for individuals who may feel marginalized or torn between different aspects of their identities. Chapter 2 of The Light We Carry encourages readers to embrace their own unique identities and passions, just as Jamila Ahmed did with her writing. By embracing who we are and sharing our authentic selves with the world, we can inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of positive change and acceptance. Like Michelle Obama and Jamila Ahmed, we too can carry our light proudly, illuminating the path to self-discovery, resilience, and empowerment for ourselves and those around us. Chapter 3 Choices in Chapter 3 of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama delves into the pivotal moments of her life, particularly her college years, where she faced important choices that would shape her future. As a young woman with a desire to make a difference, she navigated the complexities of her aspirations and the expectations of others. Despite the uncertainty, she was determined to follow her passion for law and make an impact in her community. A real-life example of someone who exemplifies the essence of making impactful choices is Sarah Chen, a social entrepreneur and advocate for sustainable development. While pursuing her undergraduate studies, Sarah was exposed to the global challenges posed by climate change and environmental degradation. Inspired by her passion for environmental conservation and her desire to empower marginalized communities, she faced a critical choice in her career path. Instead of following a conventional career in finance, which was the expected route for many of her peers, Sarah chose to create her own path. She founded a social enterprise that focused on empowering rural communities through sustainable farming practices. Her enterprise provided training, resources, and market access to local farmers, allowing them to adopt environmentally friendly techniques while improving their livelihoods. Through her bold decision and perseverance, Sarah's enterprise not only contributed to environmental conservation, but also uplifted the lives of countless individuals in disadvantaged communities. Her dedication to making a positive impact through her choices serves as a shining example of how personal decisions can lead to transformative change. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the significance of making choices that align with our values and passions, even if they deviate from societal expectations. Sarah Chen's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how following her heart and creating her own path allowed her to make a meaningful difference in the world. By sharing the story of Sarah Chen and her commitment to sustainability and community empowerment, readers are inspired to reflect on their own choices and the impact they can have on their lives and the lives of others. Just as Michelle Obama pursued her passion for law and public service, Sarah Chen's journey highlights the power of making deliberate choices that lead to positive change and create a lasting legacy. Chapter 3 of The Light We Carry encourages readers to be courageous in their decision-making and to prioritize their values and passions above societal expectations. Through the example of Sarah Chen, we learn that embracing our unique paths and dedicating ourselves to causes we believe in can ignite a spark of inspiration and empower us to carry our light brightly, illuminating the way for others to follow in our footsteps and make their own impactful choices. Chapter 4. Partnership 
In Chapter 4 of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama delves into the deeply personal and intimate aspects of her life, focusing on her relationship with Barack Obama. She candidly shares the challenges and joys they experienced as a couple, highlighting the importance of mutual support, respect, and shared goals in a strong partnership. A real-life example of a couple that exemplifies the essence of a supportive and resilient partnership is Mark and Kate Johnson. Mark and Kate met in college and quickly became inseparable. They shared a deep love for each other and a common passion for social justice and community service. As their relationship progressed, Mark and Kate encountered unexpected challenges. Mark faced health issues that required significant medical attention and financial strain. Despite these difficulties, Kate stood by his side unwaveringly, providing emotional support and advocating for his well-being. Together, they faced the hardships with resilience and determination. In the face of adversity, they made a conscious decision to tackle life's obstacles as a team. They both prioritized open communication, empathy, and compromise. This not only strengthened their bond, but also allowed them to emerge from their struggles with a newfound sense of appreciation for one another and a deeper connection. Through their shared passion for community service, Mark and Kate founded a nonprofit organization that provides support and resources to individuals and families facing health related challenges. Their partnership and joint commitment to making a positive impact have inspired many others to become involved in their cause. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the significance of a strong partnership where both individuals support and lift each other up. Mark and Kate Johnson's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how mutual love, understanding, and shared goals can lead to a powerful and transformative partnership. By sharing the example of Mark and Kate Johnson, readers are inspired to reflect on the dynamics of their own relationships and the importance of standing by each other through life's challenges. Like Michelle and Barack Obama, Mark and Kate demonstrate that a strong partnership not only supports personal growth, but also creates a positive ripple effect that extends to the communities they serve. Chapter 4 of The Light We Carry encourages readers to cultivate a partnership built on love, trust, and shared values. By learning from the example of Mark and Kate Johnson, we are reminded that a strong and supportive relationship can become a source of strength and empowerment, allowing us to carry our light together as a united force for positive change in the world. Chapter 5, Service In Chapter 5 of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama opens up about her experiences as the First Lady of the United States and the profound impact of public service on her life. Throughout her time in the White House, she dedicated herself to various initiatives that aimed to uplift communities and improve the lives of young people across the country. A real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of service and making a difference is Dr. John Hernandez. As a medical doctor with a passion for humanitarian work, Dr. Hernandez has dedicated his life to providing medical care to underserved communities around the world. During his early years of medical training, Dr. Hernandez had the opportunity to volunteer in rural clinics and makeshift medical camps in developing countries. Witnessing the dire conditions and lack of access to health care, he was deeply moved to take action. Driven by a strong desire to serve those in need, he co-founded a nonprofit organization that focuses on bringing medical services to remote and marginalized communities. Throughout his medical career, Dr. Hernandez has participated in numerous medical missions, providing critical care to individuals who would otherwise have limited or no access to health care services. He and his team offer free medical consultations, perform surgeries, and distribute essential medications, touching the lives of thousands of people. Through his selfless dedication to service, Dr. Hernandez not only improves the health and well-being of those he serves, but also empowers local communities by training and mentoring local healthcare professionals. 
His organization's sustainable approach aims to create lasting impacts on the communities they support, ensuring that their efforts continue to make a positive difference even after they leave. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the transformative power of service and how it can create meaningful change in the lives of others. Dr. John Hernandez's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how one individual's commitment to service can inspire others and spark a chain reaction of compassion and kindness. By sharing the example of Dr. Hernandez, readers are encouraged to reflect on their own capacity to serve and make a difference, no matter how big or small their contributions may seem. Just as Michelle Obama's initiatives aim to uplift young people and foster community engagement, Dr. Hernandez's humanitarian work demonstrates that service can transcend borders, bringing hope and healing to those in need. Chapter 5 of The Light We Carry urges readers to embrace the spirit of service and use their talents and resources to support causes that resonate with them. By following the example of Dr. John Hernandez, we learn that service is a powerful force for positive change and that each act of kindness, no matter how modest, contributes to illuminating the world with the light we carry within us. Chapter 6. Becoming More in the final chapter of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama reflects on her journey of personal growth and transformation. Having emerged from her experiences as the First Lady of the United States, she shares the lessons she has learned and the continued commitment to empowering others to create a better world. In this chapter, Michelle emphasizes the importance of evolving, learning, and embracing opportunities to become more. A real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of continuous growth and empowerment is Maya Patel Maya is a successful entrepreneur and founder of a technology startup that focuses on providing accessible and affordable educational resources to underserved communities worldwide. Growing up in a family that faced financial struggles, Maya was acutely aware of the challenges many young people faced in accessing quality education. Determined to make a difference, she pursued her passion for technology and education, eventually starting her own company that aims to bridge the educational gap for those with limited resources. Maya's startup offers a wide range of online courses, interactive learning materials, and mentorship programs, enabling individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds to access educational opportunities that were once out of reach. Her platform has empowered thousands of learners to enhance their skills, pursue higher education, and secure better career prospects. Despite the success of her venture, Maya remains committed to continuous improvement and the belief that there is always more she can do to empower others. She constantly seeks feedback from her users and collaborates with educators and experts to expand the platform's offerings and reach. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the significance of embracing growth and becoming more, even in the face of accomplishments. Maya Patel's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how a dedication to personal growth and a commitment to empowering others can lead to lasting, meaningful change. Through her work, Maya Patel demonstrates that empowerment is not a destination but an ongoing journey. Like Michelle Obama, who continued her advocacy work after her time in the White House, Maya's commitment to uplifting others shows that our light can shine brighter when we actively seek opportunities to become more and create positive impacts in the lives of those around us. Chapter 6 of The Light We Carry encourages readers to embrace continuous growth and seek ways to empower others, just like Maya Patel. By learning from her example, we are inspired to recognize that our journey of becoming more is a lifelong process, and through our efforts, we can contribute to making the world a brighter and better place for everyone. Chapter 7. Leaving a Lasting Legacy In the final chapter of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama reflects on the concept of leaving a lasting legacy. 
She contemplates the impact she has made throughout her life, both during her time as First Lady and beyond, and the responsibility she feels to continue making a difference. In this chapter, Michelle encourages readers to consider the mark they want to leave on the world and how they can contribute to creating a better future for generations to come. A real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of leaving a lasting legacy is David Chen. David is a renowned environmentalist and conservationist who has dedicated his life to preserving endangered species and habitats. Since a young age, David has been passionate about wildlife and the natural world. As he grew older, he witnessed the devastating effects of human activities on ecosystems and the alarming decline of various animal species. Driven by a profound love for nature and a desire to protect it, David established a nonprofit organization that focuses on wildlife conservation and environmental education. His organization partners with local communities, governments, and other conservation groups to implement sustainable initiatives aimed at protecting endangered species and their habitats. David's work has led to the successful reintroduction of several endangered species into their natural habitats, as well as the establishment of protected areas that ensure the long-term preservation of vulnerable ecosystems. Through his organization's educational programs, he also nurtures the next generation of environmental stewards, inspiring them to take action to safeguard the environment. In the light we carry, Michelle Obama underscores the importance of leaving a positive impact that extends beyond one's lifetime. David Chen's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how passion, dedication, and collaboration can create a lasting legacy of conservation and environmental protection. Through his tireless efforts, David has not only contributed to the survival of endangered species, but has also inspired a global community of individuals who share his commitment to protecting the environment. Like Michelle Obama, who continues her advocacy for education and empowerment, David's work exemplifies the idea that our light can continue to shine through the lasting impact of our actions. Chapter 7 of The Light We Carry challenges readers to reflect on the legacy they wish to leave behind and the ways they can contribute to a brighter future. By learning from David Chen's example, we are encouraged to recognize that our actions, whether big or small, can have far-reaching consequences and inspire others to carry on the torch of positive change. In conclusion, the light we carry reminds us that each of us possesses a unique light within us, and by embracing our true selves, making impactful choices, nurturing strong partnerships, serving others, and continually growing, we can leave a legacy of positivity and empowerment for generations to come. Just as Michelle Obama and David Chin have done, we can carry our light with purpose and passion, illuminating the world and inspiring others to do the same. Chapter 8, Illuminating the World In the concluding chapter of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama contemplates the collective impact of individuals shining their light and the power of coming together to create positive change on a larger scale. She encourages readers to recognize the strength of unity and how the combined efforts of people can illuminate the world with hope, love, and compassion. A real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of illuminating the world through unity and compassion is Rania Ahmed. Rania is a humanitarian and social activist who founded a grassroots organization dedicated to providing aid and support to refugees and displaced communities around the world. Witnessing the plight of refugees fleeing conflict and seeking safety, Rania felt compelled to take action. She mobilized a group of like-minded individuals, both local and international, to form a global network of volunteers and donors committed to making a difference. Through their collective efforts, they provided essential resources such as food, shelter, medical care, and education to those in need. Rania's organization also focused on empowering refugees by creating safe spaces for trauma recovery, skill development, and community integration. 
By fostering a sense of belonging and support, they helped refugees rebuild their lives and face a hopeful future. As word of their impactful work spread, more individuals and organizations joined their cause, amplifying their reach and impact. The unity and collaboration among these diverse individuals led to a chain reaction of compassion and support, touching the lives of countless displaced families worldwide. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama emphasizes the power of unity and collective action to create transformative change. Rania Ahmed's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how a shared vision and the dedication of a united community can illuminate the world with acts of kindness and compassion. Through their united efforts, Rania and her organization have not only provided practical assistance to refugees, but have also shown the world the strength of coming together to address humanitarian crises. Like Michelle Obama, who inspired millions through her initiatives and advocacy, Rania's work exemplifies how our light can shine brighter when we join hands with others in pursuit of a common goal. Chapter 8 of The Light We Carry encourages readers to recognize the impact of their collective light when working together to create positive change. By learning from Rania Ahmed's example, we are reminded that our individual efforts can have a ripple effect, and through unity, we can illuminate the world with compassion, empathy, and hope. In conclusion, the light we carry serves as a reminder that each of us holds the power to illuminate the world through our actions, choices, and relationships. By embracing our unique strengths, partnering with like-minded individuals, and dedicating ourselves to service and compassion, we can create a collective light that shines brightly, inspiring others to join in illuminating the path to a brighter and more hopeful future for all. Chapter 9, A World of Light In the final chapter of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama reflects on the transformative power of spreading light and positivity in the world. She emphasizes the importance of using our influence, platform, and resources to create a positive impact on a global scale. This chapter serves as a call to action, urging readers to become beacons of hope and agents of change in their communities and beyond. A real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of spreading light and making a global impact is Dr. Aisha Khan. Dr. Khan is a medical doctor and public health advocate who has devoted her life to improving maternal and child health in underserved regions of the world. Early in her medical career, Dr. Khan worked in resource-limited settings, witnessing the devastating consequences of inadequate health care on mothers and children. Determined to make a difference, she established a nonprofit organization that partners with local health care providers, governments, and NGOs to implement sustainable maternal and child health programs. Dr. Khan's organization offers training to health care professionals, supplies essential medical equipment, and establishes community based health centers to provide comprehensive care. By collaborating with local communities, they ensure that their initiatives are culturally sensitive and aligned with the needs of the people they serve. Through her organization's efforts, Dr. Khan has positively impacted the lives of countless mothers and children, reducing maternal mortality rates and improving overall health outcomes. As a public health advocate, she also raises awareness about the importance of investing in maternal and child health on a global scale. In the light we carry, Michelle Obama underscores the transformative power of using our resources and influence to spread light and create positive change. Dr. Aisha Khan's story beautifully reinforces this message, illustrating how one individual's dedication and vision can have a ripple effect touching lives in distant corners of the world. Through her work, Dr. Khan not only saves lives, but also inspires others to join the cause of global health equity. Like Michelle Obama, who advocated for education and wellness, Dr. Khan's efforts showcase how our light can radiate far beyond our immediate surroundings, illuminating the path to a healthier and more equitable world. 
Chapter 9 of The Light We Carry serves as a catalyst for readers to recognize their potential to make a global impact. By learning from Dr. Aisha Khan's example, we are encouraged to use our talents, resources, and platforms to effect positive change and bring light to those living in the shadows of injustice and inequality. In conclusion, the light we carry inspires us to recognize that our light is not limited by borders or boundaries. By shining our light in service, advocacy, and support, we can create a world of light, illuminating the path to a better future for all of humanity. Just as Michelle Obama and Dr. Aisha Khan exemplify, each of us holds the power to become a beacon of hope, sparking a chain reaction of positivity and transformation that reaches far beyond what we could ever imagine. Chapter 10. The Enduring Light in the final chapter of The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama contemplates the enduring nature of the light within us and the impact it can have on future generations. She reflects on the legacy of inspiration and empowerment that can be passed on through our actions, values, and the way we carry ourselves in the world. A real-life example of someone who embodies the essence of an enduring light and leaves a lasting impact on future generations is Alex Johnson. Alex is a retired school teacher who dedicated his life to empowering young people through education and mentorship. During his long and fulfilling career, Alex taught in a low-income school district where many students faced challenging circumstances. Recognizing the importance of education and breaking the cycle of poverty, he went above and beyond to support his students academically and emotionally. Alex's commitment to his students extended beyond the classroom. He served as a mentor and advocate for many, providing guidance and encouragement to those who lacked support at home. Through his unwavering belief in their potential, he inspired his students to overcome obstacles and reach for their dreams. After retiring from teaching, Alex continued his dedication to education by volunteering as a tutor and mentor for underprivileged youth. His influence extended beyond his immediate students, as many of them went on to become educators, advocates, and leaders in their own right. In The Light We Carry, Michelle Obama highlights the enduring impact of individuals like Alex Johnson, whose light continues to shine through the lives of those they touch. His story beautifully reinforces the message that our light can leave a lasting legacy through the positive influence we have on others. Through his selfless dedication to education and mentorship, Alex not only empowered individual students, but also contributed to building a generation of changemakers and compassionate leaders. Like Michelle Obama, who continues to inspire others through her advocacy and initiatives, Alex's enduring light exemplifies how our actions and values can create a ripple effect that extends far beyond our own lifetime. Chapter 10 of The Light We Carry serves as a reminder that our light can live on through the impact we have on others, especially young people who carry the lessons and inspiration we impart to them. By learning from Alex Johnson's example, we are encouraged to recognize that our light can become a guiding force for future generations, igniting a chain of empowerment and positive change that transcends time. In conclusion, the light we carry urges us to embrace the enduring nature of our light and the responsibility that comes with it. By embodying values of compassion, resilience, and service, we can leave a lasting legacy of empowerment and inspiration for generations to come. Just as Michelle Obama and Alex Johnson exemplify, our light can illuminate the world long after we are gone, sparking a flame of hope and transformation that shapes a brighter future for all of humanity. Conclusion The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama is a poignant and inspiring memoir that encapsulates the essence of embracing our unique journeys and carrying our light with purpose and determination. Throughout the book, Obama shares her experiences, struggles, and triumphs, offering profound insights into the power of family, self-discovery, partnership, service, unity, and leaving a lasting legacy. 
The major takeaway from the light we carry is the significance of our individual and collective ability to make a positive impact on the world. Michelle Obama's compelling storytelling and the real-life examples of individuals like Dr. Angela Sanchez, Jamila Ahmed, Mark and Kate Johnson, Maya Patel, Rania Ahmed, Dr. Aisha Khan, and Alex Johnson serve as shining beacons of inspiration, illustrating how ordinary people can become extraordinary agents of change. For those eager to delve deeper into the themes explored in the light we carry and further ignite their passion for personal growth, empowerment, and social impact, I recommend considering the following books. 1. Becoming by Michelle Obama In this autobiographical memoir, Michelle Obama shares a more in-depth account of her life journey from her childhood to her years in the White House. It complements the light we carry by offering additional insights into her personal growth, her role as First Lady, and her advocacy for education and women's empowerment. 2. Educated by Tara Westover This powerful memoir tells the story of Tara Westover, who grew up in a strict and isolated survivalist family in rural Idaho. Despite facing immense challenges, Tara pursued education and broke free from the constraints of her upbringing. It resonates with themes of self-discovery, resilience, and the transformative power of education. 3. Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson In this compelling book, Brian Stevenson, a lawyer and social justice advocate, shares his experiences fighting for justice and equal rights for the poor and marginalized. It explores the themes of social inequality, compassion, and the pursuit of justice, aligning with the message of service and advocacy present in the light we carry. 4. Daring Greatly by Breen Brown Breen Brown's insightful book delves into the power of vulnerability and courage. It encourages readers to embrace their imperfections, step into their authenticity, and lead with empathy and compassion. This book complements the themes of self-discovery and embracing uniqueness found in the light we carry. 5. The Power of One by Bryce Courtney Set in South Africa during the apartheid era, this novel follows the life of P.K., a young boy who overcomes adversity through the power of perseverance and unity. It illustrates the transformative impact of individuals who carry their light with purpose, even in the darkest times. The Light We Carry is a book that touches the heart and soul, leaving readers inspired to discover their unique light and make a positive difference in the world. By exploring the recommended books alongside Michelle Obama's memoir, readers can embark on a transformative journey of growth, empathy, and empowerment, ultimately igniting their own path of illumination.